Did you miss me? Good, because we're going all in! So it's been a while, but welcome back to the greatest running show on the internet, All In. Um, where did I leave you? I left you with a marathon, which didn't go to plan. Hate it when a plan doesn't come together. But the good thing about running is, if you recover, build again, and roll the dice one more time, you've always got another shot. So if we look back to Cheshire and what happened, I'm not going to go over it too much in depth now, but got a few niggles in the build-up. Had to try and manage them in the last few weeks. Detrained a bit, but still arrived on the start line feeling fit and niggle-free. But on the day, oh, running uphill is quite tough. On the day, my uh, quads just, you know, they didn't play ball. Maybe the car journey had something to do with that. I don't know. All I do know is I change a few things for next time. So that's what I'm gonna do. I forgot how difficult it is to vlog and run. It's been a while. So let's slow it down and try and get my words out. As you can see, I'm mic'd up today. Hopefully that'll help. If not, I'll try something different next time. Whew. Recover. So moving on from Cheshire Elite Marathon, um, I had a week off and then started to build back but <laughs> started to build back and then did my back in doing deadlifts. There were certain things that I neglected in the last block, strength being one of them. So I really wanted to get on top of that. And I got too keen too early, strained a muscle in my back and that put me out for another 10 days or something with no running. But I did get on the bike and I started to enjoy cycling on the turbo a bit more. So I'm gonna include that more in this block. But yeah, I'm back running, but I didn't want to start a new series until I knew that I could go all in and I could string some miles together. So last week was my first 60 mile week. And that's given me the confidence to really ramp it up, go all in. As there are only, depending which race I do in the autumn, 15 or 16 weeks until my goal marathon. There's 15 weeks until Berlin, 16 weeks until London. I haven't decided which I'm going to do yet. I'd like to do Berlin, but with COVID, you just never know travel restrictions, whether Berlin will be on, etc. So I'll wait and see with that. It is a lovely sunny day out into the sunshine. I'm losing sight because I am falling. I'm so deep down, deep down And it's not a lie that I die I can hide So this week is going to be a lot of miles and very little intensity. Uh, I'll pop the week up on the side now so you can see what I'm going to be doing, hopefully. That's the skeleton plan for the week. Obviously I'll adapt it uh, if things don't feel right, but I do want to ramp it up quite quickly, um, take a few risks and get myself into fantastic shape. You only live once and I know what I need to do to get in that sub 225 shape by the autumn and the only way to do that is to really build that aerobic foundation. So a lot of this week is easy and steady miles. The only harder run I have planned is a Zwift duathlon, uh, so it's on the treadmill. I'll do the bike section first and then you've got 10 minutes to recover or basically 10 minutes to get on the treadmill and then you do 15 minutes hard on there. Haven't done it before, 
thought I'd try it and that'll be the only intensity. And if I'm not feeling it, I can always lower the intensity of that anyway. But otherwise it'll be 15 minutes of hard running for the whole week. And the rest of it will be easy or steady, depending how I feel basically. As many steady miles as I can do, but if the legs are trashed, then I'll go easy. I really do want to take you through this block. So 15 or 16 weeks, and there'll be a lot in it. There'll be lots of running. There'll be some cycling. Uh, strength is definitely going to be part of it. But also the other little bit, the massage, the mobility, the drills, the strides, the hills. I'm excited to really show you what, what I like to do for a marathon block. Um, and what I haven't yet done. I have all these grand plans, but this time it's time to deliver. So, we're going all in. I'm gonna finish this run up. Eight miles on the hilly trails today, just nice and easy. And I'll talk to you later, because today's another double run. And there we go, eight fun miles done. Um, this sort of run, there's absolutely no pressure. You don't need to look at your watch. You don't need to worry about pace. You just run to feel and enjoy it. And I think everyone should have a run like this somewhere in their week where they just go out, run, don't look at their watch, have fun, ideally choose a really nice route and take the pressure off and enjoy running for what it is. So I've started my week and my block with one of those runs, eight miles, not sure on the pace, I'll pop it up on the screen, but it doesn't matter. Aerobic miles in the bank and I really enjoyed it. There's one part of that course that's really technical, most of it's not, but really technical and you just gotta have like quick feet and I love that. Um, quick toes, quick toes. Uh, yeah, it's really nice, it's fun. And yeah, so I really enjoyed that run. And I've got a five mile run planned later and we're gonna discuss beats per mile. So, see you in a bit. So I'm just about to head out on my second run of the day. It's going to be five miles steady. And then after that, I'm going to do some hill sprints. After my run, I'm going to look at the steady miles and see what my beats per mile are. So beats per mile are basically just a really good measure of your aerobic efficiency. So as I continue through this block, I'm hoping to see these steady runs, my beats per mile, if I'm running the same course and similar conditions, my beats per mile should come down which means I'm more aerobically fit and basically more efficient. In all of my marathon blocks, that efficiency has come down, but right now I'm starting from a higher level than I would like. But we'll see where I'm at. We'll do this five miles steady and then we'll repeat this, not every week, but every other week to see how I'm getting on. It's something you can keep an eye on anyway. Uh, I use fetcheveryone.com and uh, it automatically calculates your beats per mile, but it's a simple equation to work it out anyway. I'll put the equation somewhere on the screen now and you can have a look at the beats per mile in your runs and compare it over time to see if you're actually getting fitter. And I'm done. So that's five miles steady. It averaged about 6.15 per mile. Felt good. What I'll do is I'll have a look at the beats per mile data when I get inside and we'll talk through it there. Uh, finished up with six times 10 second hill sprints on the hill I live on. Uh, these are all out hill sprints but trying to run with good form and uh, just trying to run strong. And then I walk back down, let my heart rate drop, stand, wait until I'm ready to go again, because the effort on the hill is the main thing. It's not trying to increase your fitness, you're just trying to get strong, trying to help that neuromuscular coordination. And yeah, I find, I get some good benefits from them. So that's uh, a good day, 13 miles done with hill sprints. And uh, yeah, good start to all in block. I've actually just had some exciting news, which has changed the way this week's gonna look. But we'll talk about that tomorrow. 15 miles on the trails today. Lovely and sunny again. Easy pace, banking the miles. Let's talk later about my big news. We're gonna get fit! Come on! So let's talk about the big news. There's been a bit of a change of plan. Basically, I still wanna run well in the marathon, but Welsh Athletics are looking for a team to run an event in August over 100 kilometers. And it's been my dream to run for Wales. 
and I've realized that I've got the qualifying time in the marathon, but they do want me to run an ultra before selection to show that I'm in shape and to run another qualifying time. And then hopefully I'll get chosen, but we'll see. Um, but that means I've entered a 50K race on Saturday. The most I've done uh, long run wise until today was 12 miles. Uh, so that's a huge jump. I did 15 today, obviously, which was okay. Uh, just very easy pace, time on feet. Just wanted a test I could get halfway. So yeah, it's not really what I'd advise doing a 50K without training for it, but I just want to roll the dice and see if I can run that qualifying time and make the Welsh team and get a Welsh vest, which would be pretty much a dream of mine to represent my country. Uh, Kelly, uh, I mentioned this to her and she was like, you better go for it. You better not let down your country. You're going all in. Uh, so she fired me up and maybe want to really just give it everything on the weekend, uh, see what I can do. If I can run that time, it gives me a shot, throws my hat in the ring and gives me a chance of being selected for Wales, which would be incredible. So the 50K I'm doing on the weekend is in London, well, near London. Uh, it ends in the Olympic Park. Uh, it's mainly uh, what would I call it? Multi-terrain, maybe? It's like canal paths, muddy paths and stuff like that. Uh, the weather forecast isn't great for the next few days. There's actually like flooding meant to be there, so hopefully that doesn't make it too muddy. But whatever the case may be, I'll be turning up, I'll be going all in, because you only live once. So you may as well just give it a crack and see what happens. The worst that can happen is I don't finish or I don't run well, and then I just crack on with marathon training. And obviously the best that can happen is I get selected to run for Wales. This series could change into uh, an ultra marathon training series and then trying to recover from that and sharpen up and uh, run Berlin or London a few weeks later. But we'll see. Anyway, I'm excited. It's really got me fired up and it's changed this week's plan. So that plan I put up earlier in the week is irrelevant now. Uh, I will try and tick off a few miles but the plan is now um, run an ultra, uh, recover the week after, and then either build towards that ultra or a marathon. We'll see, but it's exciting. So that's eight miles done in the heat. Uh, one of the cool things about the Garmin watch is when you run in the heat, it'll tell you like how much that's helped your heat acclimatization, uh, which is really good, but it's really good, but it doesn't really change much. But one of the cool things is I'm actually noticing that I'm coping a lot better in the heat now than I was initially when we started to get the warmer weather. So it just backs up what I'm feeling. But yeah, eight miles done. I'll go out again and do another five later. I uh, really enjoy my training now. I feel like it's going to be a good week. I know I should be tapering for the ultra on Saturday, but I'm not going to taper for it. I'm going to give it everything on the day, but my long-term progression is really important. So I don't want to back off too much. Hello, Harry. Harry! There's my support team. Harry, Harry! Hello! You're gardening extraordinaire, aren't you? What have you been doing the garden? I've been helping Mama. Good, because it needs doing. Yes. Harry thought you'd take matters into his own hands. <laughs> <laughs> I like what you've been teaching him. <laughs> He's pulling his weight. Milky goes through. Oh, I don't know why you don't just let him use the chainsaw. <laughs> we tried that, it didn't work. So it's time for a double, but I'm absolutely knackered, um, exhausted, emotionally drained, and that is what happens when you watch Wales in the football. So uh, we've just won 2 0 against Turkey, uh, a cracking match for the neutral, but I would have rather uh, a less tense and nervous ending. But yeah, we've, we've got the three points, but I've still got to do my run. But I'm on a high slash drained. But I'll just clip along and uh, yeah, get it done. Good morning. So I am out on an easy eight miles and I'm standing on the infamous Biblins. Biblins Bridge, I think it's called. Pretty sore. That's Wales and that's England. It's normally really quiet here, but a school trip's just turned up or something, I don't know. But the rest of the trail is beautiful, quiet along the river. Just really, really nice. Uh, Kelly's doing a session, so she's catching me up. I'll probably try and finish the run with her. But yeah, just a beautiful morning for a run. So the start of this run was pretty cool. I was running along the trail and in the other direction was Zach Seddon, who is an elite, probably pro British athlete, um, 
who's got the Olympic qualifying standard for the steeplechase and will be in the trials soon. Um, so hopefully he'll be making the Olympics. And yeah, it just puts a bit of a spring in your step when you see a future Olympian coming the other way, training on the same routes as him. Uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. So good luck to Zach in the trials. Hope he smashes it and I hope he makes the team. There we go, eight done. Didn't feel easy. It was easy miles and yet I just feel like I'm slogging. And this always happens when you try and build your volume back up. Uh, it takes a while to adapt and you build up fatigue quite quickly and every run feels pretty, pretty shit to be honest, pretty awful. Uh, but you just gotta stick with it, play the long game. Um, so many people change, change their strategy because they feel like they're getting slower. But if you actually stick with it and bank those miles, you will get aerobically fitter. And then when you do the session on top of that, you'll be faster than you ever would have been if you'd just done the sessions. So I'm gonna stick with it. Uh, not sure how this ultra is gonna go, but I'm gonna roll the dice, give it everything. And hopefully um, a couple of easy days now, well, a day and a half easy, we'll uh, freshen the legs up, ready to, ready to roll on Saturday. Um, race day always brings a bit more out of me, so I'll just give it everything and see if I can make the Wales team. Sometimes I have to remind myself that you only live once. So if there's something you really, really want, take a swing, take a shot at it, take a chance and roll the dice. And that's what I'm doing tomorrow. I made a good friend along the way, so that was good. Yeah. <laughs> you were trotting lots, weren't you? Yeah. 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 That was really good. Really enjoyed that. Just legs just died late on. Amazing. Thank you. Thanks a lot. What do you think, Harry? Not so. impressed. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want? What will impress how are we you? Doing? How's it all looking? And I am done. Literally. Um, so I completed it and I'm really, really happy. Um, got third place and I ran 318 and I didn't tell anyone but what I really needed to do was break 325 to have another tick in the box to get a chance of getting selected for Wales. Whether I will be or not I don't know but I've ticked two boxes now so I'm in that selection meeting and I've got a shot at it and yeah I'm really happy I turned up and rolled the dice. I was really worried because the longest run I've done since Cheshire in April uh, is 12 miles um, I did 15 on Tuesday to check that I could even make it halfway and uh, yeah aerobically I felt great but my quads they were destroyed at about 26 27 miles and there was still a fair way to go um, so I crawled home I actually even split it so it wasn't a huge blow up or anything thank you to Kelly for coming to support I thought that was a photo <laughs> and Harry yeah did you support so it's the Sunday, it's Father's Day. Me, Kelly and Harry are out on what is a recovery run for me and just some miles for Kelly and just some time outside for Harry. Uh, my legs feel absolutely battered, but hopefully this recovery run 
will help them so I can build again next week. Really happy with yesterday actually. I'll discuss that in more detail later. But for now we're just gonna bank some miles. Mm -hmm. 